I said earlier, the next location we're going to is a movie location. Now, it's only stone throw away from where the company I used to work for, which is right ahead of us. This is the company I used to work for. Or I worked for 37 years before I retired. Just one of several filtration plants, water processing systems. I have many, many videos of me going out this gate at the end of the day. I've even taken you in the plant for a tour in my earlier videos. So, so it's just, this, this location is just down the street. And it's in an area that I, we, as, uh, as I worked here, we passed by countless occasions. I passed by this movie location hundreds of times. And in the beginning, I saw it as it, as for what it was worth. I mean, you know, the, the importance of it. But after a while, you just kind of forget. You forget about, you just don't appreciate it anymore. You don't see it. You look at it, but you don't see it. So, it's just down the road. Okay, we're approaching the location and uh, let's see if you recognize it. I'm going to pull in this driveway and give you a, a full frontal view. See how many recognize it right off the bat. You guys recognize it? It is the church from the movie The Graduate, starring Dustin Hoffman. Starring Dustin Hoffman, uh, Anne Bancroft was the mother who tried to seduce Dustin Hoffman, Ben. Let's roam around and see if we don't draw too much suspicion. Now, obviously, since 1967, this place has grown up. The trees have all grown. But do you see anything different about this church? If you notice, right there, the staircase is gone. That staircase never existed on this church. The production company built that staircase. And as the movie goes, the couple are in love, but she's going to marry another guy. And he realizes how much he loves her. So they're getting wed married in this chapel. And Dustin Hoffman runs up these stairs to that second floor up here. And he bangs 
on the window. Getting her attention. See, this is where the batter, the batter was right here. Okay, so now we're inside the chapel where Elaine is standing, exchanging vows with her boyfriend that she doesn't love. And Dustin Hoffman is standing up here, screaming, Elaine, Elaine, Elaine. She turns around and sees him and she realized that she's not in love with this guy and she starts running to him. And meantime, he's running down the stairs, comes through here, and the people that are sitting, sitting in these pews are trying to stop him. And Elaine's mother is saying, it's too late. And she said, not for me. And they both run out the door and he places a cross in the door jams preventing the people from coming out. So again, The Graduate, The Wayne's World 2, which is a parody of this, Jesus, God, no. What an asshole. and the bubble boy. Chloe! In 2001, the bubble boy, 1993, Wayne's World, and 1967, The Graduate. It was all filmed here. And I thank you very much oh, you're for allowing me to come in. Oh, okay, I'm Ray. Good to meet you. I'm just yeah. uh, a YouTube fan and make make YouTube videos. Okay. Well, so. <coughs> we're glad to let you in. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate the that. The staircase is, was just the facade on the side. They yes. You're saying about it. But yes, it, I heard they left that staircase here for the church to tear down. They were a little yeah. upset about that. <laughs> yes, I so. agree. Yeah. So from that point on, they got made contracts on the other movies to, yeah. take, to clean up their mess. Yeah, they did. Really. <laughs> well, okay. thank you very much. You're welcome. Appreciate I'm glad it. I can open it up for you. Yes, I'm, that, I was, that was unexpected. I was very surprised by that. Thank you. Uh, well, we try to open it. We have at least four visitors a week. Uh huh. To come and uh, come and be, visit the church because of the graduate. Okay. Yeah.
Another another uh, location that you kind of forget about is the Koresh house. Yes. In Waco, Texas, uh -huh. where Koresh, oh, yeah, he, he right. used to live just yeah. down the street. Right. Yeah, I remember that. Uh -huh. It was over there on White Avenue. White, White Avenue, Avenue. Yes, exactly. I guess they call it, uh, is it wine or they call it fruit? Yeah. Well, it, it turns into fruit. Yeah. yeah. So white yeah. But, okay, well, thank you again. You're welcome. You have a cool day. All right. Bye-bye <laughs> now. Bye. Well, that was very nice. So Ben and Elizabeth, what's the name Elizabeth, whatever her name is, comes running out of the church. Down here, smiling, happy. And they run out. They run out here to where the bus. Now this is remind remember is 1967. The place has changed. They built this high school since across the street. It wasn't there. It used to be just an open field. But we'll continue on. Be back at you. Okay, just a block over, this on to the left hand side, now I am not sure what house it is, this one. This house right here was the David Koresh compound house when he first started. We'll, we'll uh, make a U here. Okay, right here. This house right here. When David Koresh of Waco, Norority, 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 whatever. He, uh, he started out here with his cult following. And, uh, Then, and then he moved his compound to Waco, Texas. And I'm sure everyone knows what happened then. But David Koresh used to live in this house before it all came down, his world came down. So, that's it folks. That's, I said two locations, three locations I guess, including the David Koresh house. But it's, they're all right here within couple miles of each other and I pass by the Los Angeles fairgrounds is just behind me you go by this that house every day you go by the church we used to go by the church every day and years ago I'd go by that big tree and not really see it anymore I hope you all found this somewhat interesting I said there was going to be two places that ended up being three. So, thanks for watching. And uh, you guys take care. And ride safe, my friend.